Sundance, Wyoming. Population 1182. It's where the Sundance Kid got his name. Breakfast at Higby's, the same folks every day. But this sleepy town with no stoplights may see some big changes in the next few years. This is our main street that you're, going to, you're driving down. We're basically a two-street town. They found rare earth elements in the mountains. The rare earths are not actually rare, but economic concentrations of rare earths are rare. And this appears to be a very significant economic concentration. What are rare earth elements? I can't pronounce probably any of them. <laughs> Lanthanum, cerium, neodymium, and praseodymium, terbium, and samarium. They are these elements on the periodic table. Why should we care? Because we use them in pretty much all electronics, from your cell phone to your car to wind turbines. They help make up magnets in your computer, the lens of your camera, and the screen of your big screen TV, not to mention the military uses. And a company called Rare Element Resources wants to mine for them in Wyoming's Black Hills National Forest. This is what the, what the core looks like. And these, these uh, tan streaks are the, uh, the rare earth minerals. Proposed startup date is the end of 2015. Currently, there is only one other rare earth mine in the U.S., run by Molly Corp in Mountain Pass, California. Over 95% of the world's production of these resources comes from China. And the United States, along with the European Union, Canada, and Japan, issued a complaint with the World Trade Organization in March, claiming China is unfairly restricting exports. Now, if China would simply let the market work on its own, we'd have no objections. So what does it mean for Little Sundance? Many think it will be good for business. Norval Waller owns a motel in town. It's good for my business. It's a good thing for our country. It's a good thing for our state. It'll be a good thing for our county and city. We're having a meeting tonight, so we have to post our agenda. Kathy Lenz grew up in Sundance. Now she's the clerk treasurer of the city. You know, they already have infiltrated the community, rented up all the rentals. They shop the hardware store. They shop the parts store. You know, they've, they've really brought a lot of good things to the community, just to the commerce that they're bringing. And I know there's going to be some bad parts of it because of our natural beauty, and that's, that's what has a lot of people concerned. There, there's two sides to this. The other side is, is that there are people that are absolutely emphatically opposed to this in the sense that it will change the way of life here. And that's what this county commissioner's meeting was about, the truck route coming off the mountain. We have some concerns about the Tony Judd is going to be hauled, and we came up with this alternate route that we would like to have the mind look at. Well, I'm certainly not looking forward to hearing the rattle of Jake breaks 24 hours a day. As a resident living there with the scenery and quiet, plus we're all here as, as basically as business owners do. Compared to a mine, they're pretty simple businesses, but they are our businesses that will be affected. And there are environmental concerns too. Small amounts of low-level radioactive waste from an Air Force nuclear power facility shuttered 43 years ago are still buried about a mile from the proposed mine site. The Air Force says radiation levels are below the EPA's health standard without any mining and that there is a restriction on mining half a mile around the site. An environmental impact statement is likely forthcoming, but ultimately it is the National Forest Service that will approve the mining, and they declined our request for an interview since proposals are not finalized. And even if the elements are mined here in Wyoming, there's a good chance that they'll still have to be refined in China. Only one facility has the capacity to refine these materials in the U.S., and it's owned by competitor Molly Corp at Mountain Pass. At the end of the day, though, the resource is significant. The Bear Lodge deposit after Mountain Pass is the highest grade uh, rare earth deposit in North America. It also has a higher concentration of what are called heavy rare earth elements than Mountain Pass. Altogether, Rare Element Resources plans on producing over 10,000 tons of rare earth oxide a year for 19 years. Okay. I've made this drive hundreds of times. <laughs> that would be about 7% of the total current worldwide production reported by the U.S. government. We feel that, that uh, there's enough upside to this project that we can keep this thing going for a long time. So the town is bracing for change. We can endorse the activity or I guess reject it, but mostly I feel it's my job to prepare for it. For CNN Money, I'm Jordan Malter.